We've had all the rumours for weeks now on the DJI Air 2S. It's been released on the DJI Fly app. We've seen loads of photos and leaked images, and it's finally just been officially released by DJI. It does lose the Mavic name. The DJI Air 2S is the new drone released by DJI. It's going to be an updated version of the current DJI Mavic Air 2, and it does look to have some brilliant features from the promotional video. We're going to be having a look at that and looking at the actual spec from the actual official website as well so the DJI Air 2S the pictures we've seen are pretty much accurate up to 5.4k video a one inch sensor got a new masters shot and a longer 12 kilometer in the US range it's also got now a four sensor obstacle avoidance which is awesome and the ADS-B system for detecting aircraft which has also been announced as well they're also including a new masters shot which looks brilliant it's like a new version of active track it's going to keep you in the center of the frame all the time and actually panning around giving you really nice cinematic moves it's got hyperlapse panorama as expected also got 10 bit color profiles now so the colors are going to be excellent especially in low light but for me that sensor is the biggest draw so we're going to have a one inch 20 megapixel sensor capable up to 5.4k and that's going to make a massive difference especially in low lights that one in sensor is going to be a mass improvement on some of the other dji drones i don't know why you would buy the dji mavic at all now just go for this it looks a really good drone the features alone from this, every time DJI brings a drone out, they always seem to amaze more and more people how they just keep bringing out new technology in their drones. Excellent. But let's go and have a look now at the price because obviously the price is the biggest draw for any technology that comes out. That's what's going to make you think, is it worth upgrading or not? So the DJI Air 2S Fly More Combo in the UK is £1,169 on the official DJI website. Currently, if you buy it off Amazon, it's actually more. At the time of recording this, it's an extra £100. So officially through the DJI website is the cheaper option at the moment. And I will link in the description below if you want to pick this up. If you want to just buy the standalone package, it's 899 Again, currently in the UK, you can't get it anywhere else at the moment. That will, of course, change in the next couple of days. But DJI website seems to be the cheapest and fastest way of getting this drone. Let's look a bit more closer at the spec now. So the weight of it is 595 grams. So in majority of the world, especially the UK, you're going to have to do extra courses to fly this drone. And I'm just going to have a look now. The flying time is 31 minutes, hovering time of 30. So real world, that's going to be about 25 it's got a 10.5 meters per second wind speed resistance and then the temperature you can't go below zero so it's only between zero and 42 degrees for the operating temperature it's going to have that 2.4 and 5.0 gigahertz transmission system as we all know and love it's got low noise propellers so it shouldn't be as loud as the air 2 that propellers should be a bit quieter still got the same capacity 3500 milliamp battery so it's going to be relatively about the same but here's the camera the main one the one CMOS sensor you're going to have much better quality than the Air 2 with that you're going to have an 88 degree field of view in aperture 2.8 so they're really good and 20 megapixel stills burst mode auto exposure you've got HDR panorama smart photo hyperlapses the new 5.4k is going to be able to record up to 30 fps and then in 4k 60 2.7k 60 and then in HD 120 fps that's going to be excellent for them slow-mo shots you've got a max video bit rate of 150 that's going to be really interesting to see what actually that can record at is that going to be 5.4k 150 or not and then the zoom levels at 10 bit video recording at 120 you don't like you can zoom but at 4k you're going to have four times zoom 2.7k four times six times zoom in 2.7k 30 and six times zoom in hd as well so those are really good i don't think in 5.4k you're going to be able to zoom but the other zooms are excellent and i'm just so interested to see can you tell that difference in that 5.4k quality especially at night i think the shots are going to look excellent in 5.4k even if you haven't got 5.4k tv it's going to look amazing on a 4k tv system and then the transmission 12 kilometers in the us and eight kilometers for uk mode don't tell the drone police 
but that's going to be exceptional and again it's an increase over the original air 2 so what do you think are you going to pick up this drone i've certainly going to be waiting eagerly for this to arrive i'd say at the moment currently this has just been released um, announced officially in the uk so there's not many retailers where you can get them at i have just tried a few different ones just so i can let you know it doesn't seem to be available on argos yet or amazon I only got the official fly more combo but they are charging you a little bit more so the DJI amazon website seems to be the better option for now i'm sure in the next day or in the next few hours that will change but i'm certainly excited to get this show off you all the different new features it's even got that four obstacle avoidance as you can see here which is going to be so good for especially any tight knit shots or when you're getting close to things that's going to be excellent to be able to have that security got a new active track system at 4.0 and then also we've now got a new OcuSync as well. It said OcuSync 0.3. So it looks like we're going to have OcuSync 3.0 is going to be the new OcuSync system on here. And you know I love that OcuSync. So anyway, guys, I hope to see you all very soon. As soon as I get this, I'm going to have bag loads of videos on it. So take care. Bye-bye.